Welcome to Behind the Roos 2021. We are your new hosts, Caitlin and Liam. This is a special episode on Harmony Week. Harmony Week celebrates Australia's cultural diversity. It is about inclusiveness, respect and a sense of belonging for everyone. Let's head over to Bruce talking about different cuisines from other countries. Hi, my name is Reporter Bruce, reporting for Behind the Roos. This week is Harmony Week and as you can see I'm wearing my orange shirt. Go to the West Tigers! I'm here with Amanda from the canteen. Is there anything you've been cooking up all week? Yes, Bruce, this week for Harmony Week, I've had a special every day from different countries around the world. Cool. What countries have you been cooking food from? Okay, Bruce, on Monday we made butter chicken and that was from India. Cool. What's the second? Tuesday we did Taco Tuesdays from Mexico. Cool. Today's Wednesday, so we had spaghetti and meatballs from Italy. Bellissimo. On Thursday and Friday, we have Thursday pastizzis, which is from Malta. And Friday, we've got spring rolls and fried rice, which is from China. Yum, yum, yum. I can't wait for that to be in my tummy. Thank you for your time, Amanda, and make sure you have the best harmony week in the world. Thank you, Bruce. Lovely talking to you. You too. Hi, I am Bruce, and I'm in 2-3 to three Baba with Mr. Butel. Sinana and Catherine. Why are you wearing this? Um, well, first of all, it's orange, so it's Harmony Day, and I'm a West Tiger, so tragic, just like you. Okay, so what have you been eating off the canteen? Today I had the Italian meatballs, and yesterday I had the tacos from Mexico. Wow, that is delicious. Bonesil, bonesil. I have been eating tacos as well. I had them yesterday. And today we had biscotti with meatballs. Cool! Which was your favourite? Probably the tacos. Yeah, I would say the same thing. What's so important about Harmony Week? Because you can be kind to others. It's important to me because like, it shares all the different cultures. And you, Mr Biltel? Oh, I just have to agree with the girls. I think it's important that we share what we know about different cultures and create that diversity that we have in our amazing country. Well, that's enough time. Hopefully to see you again soon. And have a great Harmony Week. Thank you. Thanks very much, Jan. See you later, guys, on Behind the Ruse. Let's move over to Ellie and James doing Japanese origami with Kinder Gurubon and Six Bangaloo. Hello, my name is Ellie Thompson and I'm here reporting for Behind the Ruse. I'm here with some students from Kinder Gurubon. This is Pharrell, Teddy and Azura. So you guys have been learning how to speak Japanese in the class, is that right? Yes. What have you learned? We've been learning how to say hello and counting to five. That's really great. Can you guys show me how to do it? Konnichiwa. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go. Wow. Ichi, Ichi, san, shi, go. Great. I'm back with some students from Kindergarten. Um, Skylar, Alexander and Henry. I heard a rumour that you guys have been learning how to speak Indonesian. Is that right? Can you teach me how to say hello? Three, two, one. Wow! Could you guys count to five for me as well? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Wow, you guys have been learning a lot. Hi, I'm James, reporting from Behind the Roost. Today I am here with Lyric and Maya. So what have you been learning? Uh, Japanese writing. We've been also learning origami. That's, that's very good. So have you been enjoying Harmony Week? Yes. Yes, I have. Thank you for your time, Lyric and Maya. I'm here with Miss Donnelly. Hello. What have you been teaching today? Uh, today we've been looking at some origami and writing Japanese letters or numbers. Oh wow, that's a very good topic to go. What does Harmony Week mean to you? Harmony Week means to me, I think it's about celebrating and recognising all the different cultures that are in Australia and really celebrating them this week. That's, a, that's very reasonable. Yeah, good job. 
What are you doing this afternoon, Mrs. Donnelly? Well, this afternoon, James, we're folding origami paper cranes, and it's quite challenging. That's a very good idea. What inspired you to do that? So we're doing this because we've read um, Sadako and the, fa and the Thousand Paper Cranes, and we thought it would be a really fun activity to do this week to celebrate Harmony Week. Thank you for your time, Miss Donnelly. Thank you so much, James. I had so much fun with you guys this afternoon. Hi, it's Jaleel here from Behind the Roost. Well, we're here with Five Gari. So, Lara, what are you doing in this activity today? We're getting hands, like, pieces of paper with hands on them and colouring them in and writing what is unique about us. So, Lara, what is some things that make you unique? I'm very sporty and active. Thank you for your time, Lara. Hope you have a nice harmony week. You too. I'm here with Miss Antrim. So, Miss Antrim, what is Harmony Week? So, Harmony Week is about celebrating all the different cultures, celebrating diversity, and ensuring that everyone knows that everyone belongs. What is great about living in a multicultural society? So, it's good to have people who are from different cultural backgrounds, um, the diversity, everyone looks different, everybody celebrates different religions beliefs, values and food, everyone's different. Makes it more interesting. Thank you for your time, Miss Antrim. Thanks, Jaleel. Thanks for having me. Bye, guys. Hi, it's Zoe Ellis reporting for Behind the Roost. Today I'm here with... Mr Angel. So, Mr Angel, what is Harmony Week? Okay, so Harmony Week is a week where we come together as one and celebrate other cultures, what's good about other cultures. What kind of activities are the school doing for Harmony Week this week? Our learning intention was to raise awareness about other cultures. We've got classes have adopted a country and so I've gone to learn a little bit about that country and that the culture of that country, getting into the richness of that culture and what is good about that culture and different to maybe what we are used to. So Mr Angel, why is everyone wearing orange today? Yeah, so one of the things that we do every year for Harmony Week is we have a wear orange to school day where everyone comes in wearing orange. If we were to put skin under a microscope and have a close look at it, Skin is actually orange, skin pigments are orange. And so what it's trying to tell us is that it doesn't matter what colour we are, we're actually all the same. Thank you for your time, Mr Angel. Have a great Harmony Week. Thank you, and you too, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your week. You're back with Zoe Ellis, and today I'm here with... Indy. And Knightley. So Indy and Knightley, how have you guys been celebrating Harmony Week? Learning about India. And now I know there's... 1.58 billion people in India and 25 million people in Australia. Have you guys enjoyed learning about different cultures? Yes, because it's interesting. This is Zoe signing off for Behind the Roost. I hope you have an amazing Harmony Week. The wonderful students from Kinder Gangara will now sing us their Bucket Filler song. One of the things that we're going to share with you now is a song called Bucket Fillers. Our bucket is invisible, it's really make-believe But there's no doubt what the kind that can do It makes someone feel good, then comes right back to you When we're kind, we fill our bucket when we're nice We fill yours too when we help We fill our bucket when we smile
We'd like to thank the PNC for their kind donation of $3,000. This money will be used to purchase much needed film equipment for our Behind the Roos team. This has been Behind the Roos, keeping you in front of school news. We're your hosts, Caitlin and Liam. Thanks for tuning in.